Thanks for dropping in. Today, we have the final installment of the Vertical Filament Spools Trilogy. As I promised, I've designed a stand to make sure that these vertical spools stay vertical. But I had a few extra goals for this design. I wanted to center the axis of rotation, prevent the drawer from rotating too freely, and prevent unlocked bins from falling out. Let's talk about centering the axis of rotation. If you set a spool on a bar that has a diameter that's a lot smaller than the diameter of the hole in the spool, the axis of rotation will be up here. This will result in a jerky feel to the rotation. This cap piece is designed to center the axis and can be sized to match any sized bar or bolt that you might use. You can use the cap on its own or print a larger base that incorporates the cap into the design. My next goal was preventing the drawer from rotating too freely. If you put a lot of weight in one of the bins, it'll naturally want to twist the drawer so that that bin is on the bottom. This can cause a huge mess, but if you add a bolt to the center hole in the base, you can tighten it to add however much friction you need to keep the whole drawer from rotating too freely. This next goal is pretty important. I put a lot of testing into designing these little bin locks, but they aren't perfect and more to the point I'm not perfect. If I forget to lock a bin before rotating the drawer, that bin is guaranteed to spill everything it held. This stand includes little ribs on the side that hold the bins in place even if they weren't locked. In fact, let's take the locks out of one of these bins and see what happens. I still recommend using the locks, but it's nice to have that catch. While the vertical drawer technically works without a stand, this point alone is why I plan to add stands to every single one I print. Like the drawers themselves, this is an open SCAD design. It can be customized with the open SCAD program to match whatever your needs are. But I may have gone a bit overboard with the options. You can set the inner spool diameter, which is the size of the hole, in the spool, the outer spool diameter, the, the outer edge of the spool, the diameter of this little bolt hole in the middle, the width of this brim that runs around the center of the spool, the depth of this ridge that sits inside the spool and holds everything together, the number of inner spokes, if any, that surround the center bolt hole, and which itself is entirely optional, the width of those inner spokes, whether or not to even print the rest of the base, how thick the base is, how wide the spokes in the base are, and the diameter for any additional bolt holes that go around the edge of the base, which you can set to zero and remove entirely. Depending on your hardware, you can hang the drawers on a bar, bolt multiple stands together side by side, or keep them individually. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this project. The last few videos have been a crash course in OpenSCAD for me, and while I've learned a lot, I'll be very happy to return to more familiar territory in my next project. Until then, thanks for stopping by.